Welcome to the Gus Sully Podcast as usual. So let's get to this start with Raw. Mm-hmm. Let's speed this up. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. 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 Okay, Raw, Junior 3rd. Uh, Alright, the match cards, you know. The folks there for the upcoming Clash of Castle. This week's Raw, really infused with a show. Handful of interesting matchups. Here's the advertised heading to Raw on the night. Jamie Peter vs. Mario Serio. Kanye James vs. Natalya. The New Day vs. AOP. Sheamus vs. Ludwig Kaiser. Roger Ricochet vs. Brian Breaker. Beaker. Finn Balor vs. Dragon Lee. Then Morgan vs. Kinnett hitting Kathy Donnick instead. Let's see what this week's called. Sheamus vs. Ludwig Kaiser. We got some of the stars right in the arena. Morgan ran away to the ring for an open swing segment. Dominic came out trying to tell her off, but Bim Bao showed up to Morgan to leave it after the Dominic was not going to do it. Cleared out, Seamus came to the ring for his match with Kaiser. Took words, make his entrance. Kaiser tapped it behind with a chop block. Break with first with checking on James's knee. We returned to see the match of progress. Four and WWE chain was over the cover. Took the trust shot with double chops. Chest with deep red welts. Does battle with Finney's with speed strength. Shane was a bruiser. Got power most people. Prize the folks on technical Wesley. We had to see a bit of both sides to play. Display. It wasn't a tough variety of what was saw. It was hard fought contest. A lot of Kaiser looked good on his own way out. Got there being a main attraction. The Celtic Boys had a lot of selling for him to make him look better, too. Kaiser was able to get the win by tripping Seamus up on the middle turnbuckle and really able to put the pin. One of those matches that are kind of simple but very fun. Kaiser defeated Seamus. My call called Bianca Bella J. Cargill. Superhero like if they don't really possess the Zine Gene. Kind of chased out of Samus like he's trying to set a sprinting record. Well on Samus' chest so quick, show up so quickly. Kaiser must actually pretty stiff with strikes. Drag, Dragon Lee versus Aiden Balor. The first two LWO versus Judgment Day match took place in the next when Balor and Lee Balor went to battle. They dug it with ringside and nobody found LWO was there. Bow took control, wrestled Lee to the mat, the Lee Cat high five, Tupperware, the literature began a comeback with her. Lee and Balor were excellent repetitive styles of her, so I don't have to worry. Anyone? No, she's fine. Anyone? Anyone? Mm hmm. Anyone should find their groove has the nice spots. Spots. Inference from a Dugan, but Dugan provided distraction. Oh, God, it's a picture. Uh, uh. Wait, Lee? He on top rope. Uh, Carlito and Dugan were taken out by high flyer shortly after. Uh. High flyer shortly after. Yeah, Bella, rec- Bella recovered during the time. Hit with the grease for the win. And Dermot did attack Lee, raised throw him in town to make the save. This is undone, set up more later for the show. So the fair prince was a negative in this case. Bella was defeated Lee. Priest turned to in town to dominate to make it right with Lee. Please turn it back to the segment for the match. We got a video package for Lee before Bella came to the ring. It was nice to see WWE made an effort to feature him more. He's a special talent. Call talk about Beast of the Ring is yet another sign that WWE position I'm mentioning other positions that changed a lot. Alpha Academy in Simon Say segment, Braun Breaker vs. Ricochet. Uh yeah. Um later they came out to talk about what had been going on Alpha Academy in recent weeks. He called out Chad Gable Otis, Akira Tazab so clean came out. He little rest with Gable said he could turn uh Kappa Academy against him. Zane agreed to take Gabriel a shot, but also just students that they have enough from Master Gable yet. Let be attack Zane behind order to take him out. Big man refused. I had to Maxine literally beg Gable on her knees to stop. 
kick her out into Otis on his face. Zane covered Gable sent him to Otis, knocks the magazine out of paper. Otis picked up Zane, signed him for a story out of the ring to carry the uh, casino away. Somewhat predictable, did a good job setting up Otis to get a massive pop when he finally turns on Gable. The next match saw an injured ricochet. Lucky it was a measure of revenge against the Breaker after being attacked by two weeks in a row. When I only slight Breaker to get things going, speed to avoid the powerhouse hits with strikes, kept selling his injured ribs too. It would be closely for the former XC chat put Ricochet down. Baker, Breaker had the upper hand until after the break when the high line began to reveal some momentum. Really, it was a squash at first, but they ended up producing a solid match that made Breaker look better on the main roster than he previously year appearance at the press of Frankenstein. Breaker cut Ricochet in half with a spear for the win. Breaker defeated Ricochet. Archer did Carly the Vice about being a jumper. They was hilarious. Max did a great display motion. Otis carried two adults with that's a play power. Breaker's gear has good design, it fits his character as well. Natalia vs. Kai and James. When the WWE veterans and Ash against the cover to man. Natalia took on James. Not only to man, James picked the interest so and the free would get make Natty get off the bat. The daughter and him pay with glowing clothes on. The matches clear dish how to report experience his business. Jan- James is a great athlete, probably ahead of her game. Her weakness is much more evident against someone that's skilled in Dahlia. James picked up a relatively quick win over the boat. James defeated Talia. James pretty much interviewed the season, but Lisa was not good at what she's doing. And his team is hard to really disconnect. It's very, very gnarly. Talia had to start out for somebody. You can notice it very easily. Braun Sherman versus Carlito. The help of the NWO fire German daily event. Sherman looking to take out his first against Carlito. Most of all, men of dominance hope. Duck and Pal tried to shred them, but it didn't work. He still beat Carl so easily. He scored by squash. It makes sense. It wasn't totally out of place. WWE are building, rebuilding Strowman. Having him easily wins against the veterans a good start. Judgment Day ended up taking Strowman down successfully to end the segment. Ty was shown to talk to the Villa after a match. Which Burger gets a down from attack after he tried to use a chair. Strowman, but Duck was hitting hammer and winning Strowman with a chair after the match. We got Baszler, Stark vs. Baca by Cargill. Cargill Bella were invited to Raw by Baszler. Zoe Stark's natural with Bomb for them show up with Baca by Ray. He came out, booked the match, he placed me for the titles. Bella and Baszler start for the team. I can afford it to Cargill tag in for the double team maneuver. It's like Bella was about to win the he either attacked the chance called the EQ. The match didn't have much, at least it was supposed to a triple threat. The first short chamber still become. Cargill, Baller won my DQ. The angle that I've used for double vertical super is good. So Baze are funnier than people think. The way Cargill hit the steel steps looks honestly awkward. We got the New Day, New Day versus Alter of the Pay at the quick promo, promo for Jay Huso hyping up Money in the Bank. We got Tati Measure, Akeem Razor taking on Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. Earlier the show, Karen Cross told Woods he would need, need to follow Kingston around for much longer. But Woods just brushed out, walked away. Chocolate just ends me, asked the squash. Kingston being distracted by Crosley. He got a quick win. EOP to be a new day. Elder stopped Asia about 50 years ago. He looks like the same for a long time. Frey Diane Dog gave an interview backstage after this man. David Priest was Rey Mysterio. This week's main event talk saw Priest take out a Rey in a time match. No one else from the WO or Dudman did ringside. The match began. Powerhouse was an unknown battle. Both of these men are veterans, so Ray used to advantage on assistant priest was doing this for 20 years. This about serves mounts on story. They move hit, tell, sell, begin, huh? A lot of matches on that, but noticeable for a reason. Parents too choreographic, but it's hard to say. We can say everything did perfect. It lacks sense of urgency and drama. Female to German Day. Took Leah as a ringside to start off the race of Priest saw Heaven for the win. Jeremiah is back to attack the Archer in for me when Feature Sock DT by picking up the world title. The the Priest defeat was serial. It's easy to forget Priest of 41. He looks much younger and also a position of a long time veteran. Ray Mr. Abuso, the Priest's arms look good. Priest did a catch like Charles Catch it. Modified Hurricane. Ready to go in my mode. My thoughts is this week's Raw had a lot of terrible story development, but most of the matches were either too quick or forgettable. 
about Balfe and money show was either tired of a shame and two European stars being the light out of each other kick off the show a lot of people got spring time this week especially as members of our stables Alpha Cat and Viral Testament Judgment Day OW were all featured in segments multiple segments we saw several women on the show in various roles both Ring and backstage it was a good way for storyline but pretty many cards for Ratchet yeah that was my, my re- raw review so yeah All right, let's go to Dynamite. Yes, yeah, I'm all highlights. AW World Champion for grass on Dynamite was Sir Strickland defending against the Unspeed Kingdom, Roderick Strong. The match headline last British broadcast, The Rules of Forbidden Door on January 30th, also featured the return Knights NGF first appearance at a complete Blackpool Combat Club in months. What went down? But now, who, who went Victorious from the High Stakes main event. And what impact did it have on the upcoming main pay per view main event? Find out what happened this week. Thank you. Okay. Here's the cards. Alright, take a play. Yeah, you're a chance for a strip one. Oh, yeah, my butt. First train versus Roger Strong, Mira May with Saria, Bapa Comic Club versus Marangus, Lola Jr. And the return of NJF. And here, return to dynamite. Okay, let's start with there. Okay. Okay, and then dynamite. And here, there's a long way to return to AEW. My appearance is the one up in the former world champion, to AEW International Champion, Kusucho Okada. And your world champion, Spoke Struggle, and TNT champion, well, all three with his cutting remarks, it's gave me insults. Mm-hmm. Rouge interrupted the process, took such an interest and back to the cup, thinking he was owned anything. The salt air spawned by back for his dash and talk. Karina's cost Mexico for assaulting Miss Spanish. Part of Serbia, a first taste of the program awaiting NJF. They may be urged to book the match and said, I'll hold it off until June 30th. And forbidden was the right move. Around us of the car, which Brad and she had brought up. Build the rivalry, build the match, we executed. And she got for granted on my, the guy said, uh, horrible, horrible for the devil, more probably. She made a generic for a heel, 24 heels are inspired. At least the ball was sold, and the match would tend to be strong. Then she has to focus attention on Strickland, Osprey, and Okada, so like, find a groundwork for a busy next year. Toss her from the show. Excited about it. What's this? Or some of us, some random guy from Nezuko, Japan. Get your tickets today. Send a roll hometown of well, Long Island for Bitten Door. So the other side of the tail for the three pitch of rivalries. Chicago, Strickland, and Spray. Making the most hated man to walk with Plan. Well, that was happening by accident, love. Cassie versus Kyle Wright versus Ray Fiends with Jay Lethal. So I call now some expo to show that fourth pairs will meet for the right to challenge Osprey for the international championship. With no more much competition to try. Second, they were chosen to which casting. They need to call a wire roll, I'll have a match. Pro. The experts in the underneath brought the medal and overcame it, catching Lethal with an inside grail, scored a win and the right for the match should be for the starting offense and the else after the match. Callus March turned around to the ring on grab the chair fend off off because Stanley hit the ring. Coming face to face with a former friend for slapping him. Well Nottingale made the say as the heels to the close of the second. The match was all agile strong work from Lethal O'Reilly, but so felt brand incredible. Ring and Brad up for not to follow by Stanley. The like cheap reminders those are still hanging around rather than affect the booking. Felix defeated Riley, Lethal, and Cassidy. 
Oh well. Backstage, the learning tree arrived, played by Big Bill, Bad Apple, Brian Keith. So we're not gonna cut a promo on Permanente. So have a Sandler continue to possess star power. Maybe one performer will break up potential who have been featured consistently on TV shit over the last three months. TNT Champion Ladder Match Qualifier Mark Briscoe vs. Brian Cage. The Aram EVP Chris Daniels field another qualified match for TNT Champion Ladder Match RH World Title. Champion Briscoe vs. The Machine Brian Cage with the winner Joy. He last two who crashed his ticket to the match a week ago. Match was hard hitting. One saw Briscoe's mount bled and battered or his body better. The, the RH Champion started punishment as his car Chris Daniels fight. Back against a stronger opponent, but down the machine scoring the hard fall victory. Briscoe saw Esco Warner, Urker, best free face the company, also an orange champion. Tiles feel diminished, compete for the TNT title. Some blocker that belt contests have been dinging at each other, and then no one should not want less gold. But the brand as a whole has been so poor to present, they need to be overshadowed by saying those titles, not the world title. Jack Perry popped up to the match, declared that the future TNT champion feels more like possible given the tone of a heavy, elite, heavy show. And, uh, Briscoe defeated Cage. Jack Perry wanted a monitor back to exchange a link between him and a TNT championship he could be wearing. Too long. No one tried to put over. <laughs> it was it. The Briscoe's Cage was special, but she was able to put him down for the count. Making a bigger deal for him for being a ring or Irish world t- title that has been one done wonders for the brand. That stage where Paquette interviewed some of Joe Fuck only from the East and Nirvana. I said, interrupted the heels that tie nice hook for Joe Bice to say, Poche. They don't do it unless they knew that well, they can entertain him. Tati mentioned coming. The acclaim into the arena. Mass cast of the media target. Only, only had their mic. Segment cut, tag match coming. Blackpool Comic Club vs. TCMLL. The Ring of Rock Pitch at Yudo returns to the first circle for the first time. Four Miles Team BCC. The Battle of Team CML's Madness for the Junior Finish. The match was showcased for BCC and here in Yuta. CML Stars has their own punch and good stuff for shining and stuff. Crowd did not come alive as soon as anything until the AEW Stars on. And, no. That's the design on the head of Google, do their diligence, or else somehow, Lucha Libre. This is a crazy story, I love it. Elevated. Or, elevated. This is the name of a special why the matches happened in the first place so Richard can accomplish. The wheel is trying to square so encouraging. The importance of all the way to capitalize on someone more welcome. We never wasted an opportunity. Canada, Brown, CTS, New Japan, is one strong with Sam Fitch announcement for Bitten Door. Mm-hmm. All right. 
All right, the letter broke down in the initial signal started by parents. It was not sent in the right direction, but it still did not serve what it means. It's not more apparent than fail to capitalize the forbidden right element of it. Cross promotional act. <laughs> Danny Garcia was probably featured in a vision and highlighted background, told viewers about it. More important, you must story that connect with more of the stars who may not be on TV or we do not benefit from teen time. More per feature player formers. The new Jericho card is not good. Maria May versus Soria. The writer between, you know, Charlie Star and Maria May continues against Soria. Early continues with May Scruff, the world outcast. The writer was long expected, more competitive too. Uh, Soria stunned May with a good night, then tapped out PTO score. Gore killed like an upset victory. The win was Stephen Keeper in contention for the AEW Women's World Champion. That is, the story retains her title against Mina. Shortly later, President Phil Matt Chase, Soria, and Carol. The checking in a main game storm tends to stare down. A lot of pieces of play is a walk to the pace of the multiple story ongoing with the division. So, yeah, folks are booking years, but it should help recall the things with Khan, because the work on establishing heel baby faces because the segment five heels and one face left to cheer the back of baby faces more than anything. Mm -hmm. Backstage, the acclaimed confront the EVP box out of the office. Most later, Cage and the Punisher joined the box, who promised they will. Plans for Cage of Code, they are fighting some humor facts. So the fact that segments we saw again with Manager with the Man for Water, the second bit, the Twin Link is the Punisher AVP is interesting though. So I joined the contact team to clear AW with the best wrestle. No, but it's definitely t shirt. I don't remember a quote, but a quote. So, sure, pick up May as a bachelor's, the bachelor's daily smile. I don't want to talk louder. AW World Transfer Strike with Rick Strong. So it's a firing rate. So it's a shit. So spray. So I'm going to try to get a strong. I call him a bit. The highest in my work is a couple of red eye. Strong. Go strong years with some years before the transfer. Yeah. So I'm going to curse on me. Uh, 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 so, like, it always followed me to another as a champion. So, lost my Prince Nana, no star of a fan, as off the case effort, there's a chapter straw, but still, so feeling and struggling has not been present in the face. I'm sure be the chair is going to swim. That's very hot, baby. Jesus, we're putting the work on. Oh, tell them. Yeah, though. What's that? I want to show you that uh, 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 time to offer a little bit of face and set the piece. So, struggling to feed strong to retain the title. Followed before the main event, Dan Sembury traded his final year as full time pro wrestler. Despite a few moments, he has last chance to fight for the AEW World title by entering the upcoming Owen Hart Memorial Men's Tournament. Who? <sighs> Taven and Bennett provide cause, inter cause the interference throughout the match. Captain and Touch strictly more than once. Skyler put the 91 record straw into the match with attention when the lost record earlier in a far away A1 guest. Did an effective job explaining why the former NRC had a challenging for the top five of the company. There is Ian after is, you know, Ian after is like Ian, Ian after, after, after the pay per view lost to Austria and double or nothing. My thoughts this week the Forbidden Door pay per view has always been interesting in AEW. Ongoing stories often screech the whole day of Airbusha. Flash over rashes, the AT television, see what is consequential. Wednesday, you have to do a solid job throwing that instead. End up maybe a NJ may be on collision course worse, but we just be through potential rivalries. Tony Storm maybe kind of gets to be sure at the pay per view, but the future Sierra Carol is on, setting up a potential showdown with her former outcast partner. There's T's contention Evie's working relationship with the Partridge. Introduction of Brian Dance is one last shot story, too. Very contrary new stories of TR's set in a different tone as years past. Al, you ever cap on stories or you don't? So the job to also determine how fat this road to the June 30th event will be. And the whole show is okay. okay. The literature is not good. You be young, Bucks, Jake, Double Donna. The point will only hurt the show when it ain't, and there's multiple segments. Skills to vegetable did not help. I'm calling it a middle show, leading upward thanks to the energy of MJF at a very good main event, in my opinion.
So yeah, uh, that was that was dynamite, and now let's go straight to Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor. Yeah. Ring of Honor. Okay. We go right this week with, mm, yeah. Uh, Ring of Honor this week as. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, this week is Real World TV Champion Kyle Fletch defends title against Gunn Castle. ROH TV Champion Russell Zamia in a proving ground match. Okay. Book for this week was a triple threat trios match. The Dark Order vs. Iron Savage with Johnny TV, Cole Carter, Greg Garrison. The infantry are scheduled for the show. So let's go to it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. This is for Thursday, June 6th. Okay, Ring of Honor World Tea Champion, Kyle Fisher defense against Don Castle. Uh, Billy Starks, the ROH Women's World TV title. Starks versus Zamiya in a proving ground match. Dark Order, John Silver, Eno Uno Reynolds versus the Savages. Jack Jennings versus Ty TV, Gary Garrison, Cole Carter. The Infantry, Shani, Charlie Brown versus the Clown Jacob Watts. Mia Pfeffer versus Sabria. <laughs> and Queen Maria Lita versus Azira. So with T- T- RH TV kicks off things with a queen. Queen Mia defeated Zira. Mita has been on fire recently appeal with the RH Women's World Champion Athena. The match was served to remind Athena and everyone that Amina is very good at wrestling. Marissa defended her past hair. Killer layer purple blue cut that perfect match of gear. You get confidence off the top swing it. Catch a meetup paired. Didn't last long as the uh, engine is very good at wrestling. She used a height advantage to control the pace of Matt Thrill. Super Roll has been at work. Three brutal kicks, how got was real. Hot knocking her out. Meetup threw her in the center of the ring. Threw the lever air ring to get the big win. Her booty. Oh, her booty. Right in her. That was AEW. Uh, booty bash. Right in her nose. Huh? Mira Shepherd defeated Maria. Oh, it's nice. She's in action. She came along for NXT days. Uh, fourth record in Tony Sh- Khan's field dome. And Maria was a hometown hero. We call seeing Khan for the problem. Shepherd didn't do deeply into her bag of tricks. Utilize, utilize her MMA martial arts skills. But absolutely proud to the mat. Shepherd kept working. And Maria over kept working on the ground trying to catch her in submission hole. Eventually, Shepherd locked in the cross a sleeper hold. A sleeper hold. And Maria passed out shortly after. We're already TV champion. Fletcher defeated Kong Don Castle. Earlier on, Don Castle was interviewed at Luxonier. Castle therapist told him to get his feeling out for putting near to a feud few team and Johnny TV. If it's by Wizard TV, a rare demanded Castle get back his sunglasses. Told him he had no qualms with TV anymore, denied him taking the glasses. The two baited bigger next move in RH. It was not as old. Both stepped out of the frame and seen. Castle escorted the ring by as many boys. No ring. Now, Castle's a former ring of our world champion. So, T ring again. Big business challenge. Tell, tell again, Roger is red hot in the early age. AW Lee, though, is not going to be an easy battle. Clutch refused to cold water while crowd chanting at Castle and Castle to rest the matches. How to catch what test of strength. Miss Lost. Clutch stay outside. Keep Castle from pick up any momentum. Hmm. Hey, that's just, you know, that goes, well, this is why you can't get yourself. This, this is why. This is what hell's in the mirror. He's trying to fit, put him in. A, this is called. It became Tony's little problem. He, this put him in a bad, a quarter. Get he can't do. He's gonna create a bigger problem. That's a problem. And Flash was gonna cast the ring. Right through the barricade, cast shoulder Fletcher, put him back ring, and the whole kid works. And this something was going, never the issue was going. Need the mental health, not to hit things. This is the issue of you, you fucking cops. You know, fuck, fuck my Sunday out. Oh, I don't know why, Hey, oh. 
He says, shit, go outside, you little punk. That's what I said. That's just what I said. I don't know how fast it's in. Fletcher quickly returned to show, though. The match on his pace. Castle wasn't here, though. Got surprised too, Cal. We have an issue around. Then you're slapping back. You piss your ass. Your nose you know, you know. He KO his ass. He KO his ass. He ain't strong. Broken no nigga. Let's do not fight. Don't fight. Fight. Who the fuck does So this is why we have idiots. Why our business? Our wrestling. Bro. Okay. Fletcher designed enough number moves to finish our castle. Castle of our bed. The little Plexus. Yeah. Castle of Fletcher for Bang Rain. Fletcher Clark. Savoy. Castle of Second Bang for Fletcher Rosa. Castle of the Royals. Big Rain. Knock Fletcher outside. Okay. Just a little at like a little hard. He cried the best. Why? But he must see that. He didn't write the problems. Not the healer problems. Not only the Korean. Overcome match, in my opinion. Infantry defeated Nick Conrad and Jacob Watts last week. Watts like Conrad hanging, let him do the work and lost this week. We might see step out like Chinese mental manipulation. Conrad of the infantry ran up to athletes with. The mind's last match began. Like last week, Conrad started facing Brown. on saw that the two double teams while Watts watched the court. Brown had the size advantage over both men. For triple each. Watts is busy celebrating for the crowd missed the tag. Conrad looked for the tag. Watts approved it. So we'll eventually find some gang high fly. More double team light. Watts kicking the rope. The other two hit him with super kiss. Set up rain. The hardest part of the rain. Blow. Conrad taken apart by a picture of the two Pinning a big spot top rope. Yeah, it was a victory. Backstage, Lee John cut a promo. He called out the R.O.H. World TV champion, Kyle Fletcher, who just survived. Fletcher stepped up to Johnson Ryan. He already got beaten twice. Back in the line, Johnson said he didn't get beat Fletcher twice in one night. Challenge him to, uh, uh, and he, and Fletcher went down to a two out of three fall for the R.O.H. World TV title. Such a set that started out. R.H. Women's TV title. Fox defeated Zayn in a premium ground match. In a premium ground match, Zayn, last 10 minutes, if he saw she would get a shot at the Ring of R.H. Women's TV title. Getting prepared to run for her money. Heart me well. Starts with a little trash shot, but top of Zayn put big swing. Starts with a smile with a modified Women's Duel Dog. It matched my own. Starts with a fish hook set. Bring him out, put her cheek. Starts with a stop for a quarter. Hey. The tender face at this is back. Despite the different stars, control the pace around. Around using the big hair, put it down. Big on dies, past the top row. Stars, move the double wins in the road. Row. Twist. Finally, Red Bell appears behind stars. Stars bail quickly. Quickly before Bell with her hands on her, ready on the map. Stars fans, fans, Camina. Throw her back in the ring. Bell with a blow to stars, before she throws up the brawl. Dark Order and we you know the Dark Order were defeated Cold Car because it's John TV. Reverse is Belva, John just a nine man tag. One thing I already loves in Ultimate Purse Match. The odd one though featured one of three teams out of three out of four. They missed out to call it Trio's a Trio match, so mind you that a feature. Character, Garrison and teammate of my country, so Janice Grand Night, Call the Crown Earth Virgin, LA. Las Vegas, the city that used to be cold, is a private negative one in terms of big ovation. The match was sex and like Marjorie gets chaos, pose down and yelling, probably pose down. <sighs> the match started with Silver Jason. It was strained, the only two competitors were saying, and let me have Garson Carter team get into the match at all. That be Ozzy Fab. Oh, whatever. The question was answered, Joe. G just jumped in the ring outside and. 
Then Garrison Cars double team. <sighs> oh, the legal man in the ring. <laughs> and that's uh here, you know, I slid Carter again, lay down, you know. It's not the way crying and pain. Just a little issue. Okay. And push. He used to push himself. Push himself. Push. Yeah. Okay. He's like, oh, jeez. I'm sick of it. Anyway, let's run off. I hope I'm going to try. Chance has to lay that card with a humor. Being a little shiny lizard from TV. More posting. Card with a ring card. Brass and double team card. By the way, Silver, Slip Place on Match Lunar Balder. Mark has a Silver Match Lunar Match Lunar Balder. I have to win for Dark Order. Which should close out a pretty good episode for Ring of Honor this week. So, yeah, that was Ring of Honor TV this week. So, mm. uh, I want to see you. For, let's do SmackDown, Rampage, and we finish it with Collision this week. I want. I, I, before SmackDown, we'll have some wrestling news. I promise. All right, let's start with SmackDown. Yeah, let's start with SmackDown. Okay, SmackDown. SmackDown this week. Uh, weird. I need condition. SmackDown this week. Um, this week, last week, I got AJ Petra by AJ Styles. Cody Will King, you still look for a fight. Here's the car for this week. Cargill versus Hartwell. Angel versus Cruz, Gargano versus Waller, Rhodes seeing revenge against Styles, Souls of Color ducks Jungle Low into the bloodline. Let's see what happens. Hey, Gargano, back up Blair versus Helen Casperlay. So I have to open the recap video for a new blood at Camp Point. Tonga Low is sending to the family. Helen, Pale Hand was being nervous. So he laid out what was happening. Lola well, was fishing this up to the group, but Tom was saying, So Cola's right hand man. Had some tension. Kevin Owens came out and attacked everyone, but I saw as soon as t- Kale taken taken down, three pops need to say break. The first match featured Belair Car got taken to Hartwell. Relay before the match began a recap of Isle Dawn and what Bray attack on the women's tag title. <laughs> it's a place that we know would come to play at some point. Not only they show up Bell Rain, but story started basically. The match played on a spot to be a sudden moment to double the spot, but not different match. Well, the attach has won. Celebrating short lived. Baylor, Fred, Don, attacked them to make a statement. This logical story, WWE ability to a virtual favor for for the titles. Baylor, Cargill defeated Hartwell Larray. <coughs> When I tested forward, Donkey took the SG time coming to save Owens. We got more serious QR codes, graphics during back six segments. So how you miss the call after the break? Mm-hmm. Better look hygienic than usual through the bow. It was originally a book singles between Garga and Hartwell, but the digital exclusive video why it was changed. Jason Waller versus Jerry Gargano. The men's tag team division was met, featured in the next match. When Waller got on the tag team, took a Gargano. Waller used his size to advantage to take her early, regardless of speed, experience, health, play field theory, attached to her to support the teammates, but for the most part, they get good chill, they didn't interfere too much. Both guys are the athletes, are good experience, and then you can see how Waller came in as a performer. At one point, he fell out of place in the ring of veteran. Australian superstar scored a win with his finisher and celebrated well theory. Injured the ringside, did a suicide dive with Gargano. Look up his partner, then I come to his aid. Waller defeated Gargano. Hayes and, and Lola Knight had best days. I mean, that blitz is saying all is booking a match between them. The way Gargano countered Waller's roller into a ring, supposed to be great. Come out Hayes versus LA Knight. Russo waiting for Styles to arrive. We had security interview. The American Nightmare rushed to the ring, demanding phenomenal on to face him. Carlos and Luke Gallows were thought to arrive, say, Care what Rose wanted, but the American Night was just an equip match. Also, group for who's bro- broke out with Rose and the security after they break. The battle's book for Hayes and Knight took place. Mel took the first few shots, but come out of hot. But Knight fired back in a moment, covered the mega sign up, waiting by reversing a penny comment. She had three count, grabbed the headset. Whole 
Logan Paul and said he would come to find him. This won't be the last battle for you to look good, but it's never forgot like a conclusion. Hayes is going to get his win back eventually. Knight defeated Hayes. The way Hayes landed on his feet at the top spring was one example of balance and agility when Knight was supposed to be trip Hayes on top row. Hayes was too low, but looked totally effective. The Bloodline versus Cowboy with the Street Profits. Bay was in a range with power. <sighs> <laughs> by Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Niven and in a shiny segment came across an intimidating presence to what happened during the open segment. KO Falcon sealed to take off the call. Tell her to blow up. B Fat came up but not stay for the match. Unfortunately, Sick Man brought the same energy and prize of the match. He did. Ball time of the show. They look like they don't want to win. They look like their bloodline is off to injure opponents. So Cody will forward the spear instead of his usual summon spike. The bloodline to K- put KO through a Gnostic with a triple powerbomb. The man ended his whole vacation, but the bloodline was the one standing to him when it was over. KO profits one with DQ. We got a pro, we got a pro for Paul shooting his house saying night is going to warrant his attention. The little rampage doctor had to start matches also. He got so agile quick on his feet. Tama took a nasty bump, followed the ring one point. Tonga missed close on Tama the ring. Good spy. My thoughts this week. This week's Spatta World is show is good stuff, but nothing can call as much CTV. Couple of matches set up at Cal- Castle. We didn't see the private elevations of private old business as usual. Six man tag main event, probably the best match as a fans, but Waller Gargano was a lot of fun. Clean finish. WWE doing a good job at CATC look like a premium worthy saying styles and modes that the rematch will definitely be a highlight. The seven time we good way to set the stipulation. Yeah, yeah. Now we go to Rampage now. Yeah. This week's Rampage, the first episode, Ash D took on Schwak, Zero took on Butcher, and Trias Manager, King, yeah, whatever. Petzl and Zero defeated the Butcher, opening match. Butcher and Petzl probably dropped to the ground, Butcher a big punch. He was able to cover it up, keep going, and back and forth. And then later in the match, hit the big backside, fall. Butcher to recover, lock in your fall house. Send look to be enough for the win. Okay. Yeah. However, Penta said the Ivan Magic hit a fifth round the Butcher calls out the win. Match, alright, second match. Claim to be a great prize by Pitfall. Things that didn't almost mean for great prize that claim is super short work in that match. Things then ended after Kessler hit the mic drop for the pin. And the win. The group celebrated with a group of assessor. Alright, we got Gates of Agony to be a private party. These are heat early in the one with the both teams going right for the start. Towards the end of the match, Rock Quinn went up and shoot a shooting star press, but Jacob jumped onto the pin, break things up. Gates of Agony duo and quickly hit a two little power ball for the pin and win. Just opposite the guns to be a Chris Wild, Payne, and Cab Crush. Robinson made quick short work as a total talent opponent, analyst all by himself, hit the finisher to close out the win. So basically, they gave him a welcome gift for Juice Robinson. He is not, is the trio child will be defending now in Freebirds role, apparently. Uh, we are sure to feed Serena D by Pitfall. In this closing match that I made an event, they booked an uh, early victory. Got swerved by Papian or Padas Lock. However, Mina got out of it, began a back and forth battle against D afterward toward the end of the match. D draws struck with a chop block, but he was able to cover hit a finisher for the pin and win. And after the match, she came in, Maria May, tried to be a peacemaker with three. Tony Storm and Maria Sooner. And then it goes so well. It did go so well. So, yeah. We're going to see more of that up to the Forbidden Door. And, yeah. All right, that was Rampage. Let's go now to co- Collision and some wrestling news. All right, let's get to Collision now. Then wrestling news, then we're done. Mm-hmm. All day, the Collision is um, this week. Here's a car for Saturday this week. Garcia versus Tate Mathers. Stanley versus Renegade, Dustin Rose versus T Giant TV, Tony Stern versus Lay Frost, Orange Cassidy versus Kyle Riley, FTI versus Yuda and Carlo Castellone. Yeah. 
Let's look at what happened this week. That's Tara, Casper were in tag action open and bound against the, the BCC. You know, it's only second he be attached since the turn for an injury. You had to have wheel on the ropes and initial exchange. You tag out the hardwood. Tag out the Superman can have a turn. Anytime you put a terrible BCC, you like to get a fun match. They look to that time to work a big stiff. So exchange taunt early on. A few matches are perfect, but you count the number of mistakes. Moments on one hand. Or four men are talented to work together for so stealing put on a good show. Teams make good use of those same doers. BCC was a bit more creative. Often than the this time around. Stewards had great moments. This one was one of the best matches see all week. The bow had a 20 minute time limit. Time, time ran out and Wheeling in the rings of Saturn. This draw fans booed until Howard had five more minutes. Brandon Cutler, the half elite, said it only had 20 minutes. BCFC took him out to light the crowd. Time of the draw. Yuta has some little dance and stage is fun. Mm. If Howard was shooting gun, Kathleen knocked it out of his mouth. It was, if it was a gun, he'd be heading to a dentist after this. Yuta took a bat bath on top of his head when trying to head scissor. Castillo transition to structure was great. The double structure was a fun spot. We got Robin Renegade versus Chris Stanletter. Stanletter coming to the ring, take on Renegade and the Renegade twins. The Robin did not have a tell of entrance. It was even not clear what would end. I dominated Renegade for about a minute. Stan got the win with two to apologize. Typical squash match. Somebody got to begin to push me. Stanley Stanletter defeating Renegade. So Stan's double knee back right there. goes plan. Stokes post my promo was usually bad comedy series statements. Stat as the first entry in the women's heart club. Don't forget about Bill Nigel. She announced herself into the women's heart club. club or heart, the women's Owen Heart Club. Mm-hmm. Dustin Rose, Johnny T versus Johnny TV. The natural and John T. Lesher were in single action. When Johnny, well, we well, you get one, you get both. It was a complete mismatch every way. Both these men can call veterans. Rose was a very wrestler. Johnny knew with popcorn, so he had big edge experience. Howard Johnny has all his physical match advantage. Hey, two different styles against each other. Donnie and Tim were concentrating on each other in the Q&A on road at some point. That's just during the break. They had some fun different moments, but never quite like God out of getting gear. At the Valkyrie was at the ringside. Two involved, Rose was able to get the win. Rose defeated Giant TV. Alright, Valkyrie and Tyler look like it's something from the movie Bar Wire. The Tornado John hit through the Rose, barely made contact. After the match, Rose grabbed the mic, saying he's getting old, thanks to the crowd, and run back. Jack Perry caught Dusty a lot, too. The premier athlete action, Tony Star vs. Lady Frost. Tony needs to devour premier athletes were actually against two local talents who were barely able to pose. They were attacked. This was over in less than a minute, and the Denise device stand tall. Premier athletes won. The AEW wins chant took off Frost and untitled, so none of them felt like particular based on booking. Frost is a premier of a talent capable of incredible song, ease of agility, but AEW had never booked her to win much. <laughs> Maria May and Luther were ringside so on their champ. Frost did a good job combating most of the stars of the fans and mind games. They kept a steady pace throughout the match when he goes yes to the tiny head. He, it was just the same big chunk of tech play during the pitcher and pitcher. Storm got the victory with Storm Zero. The big lose line from Devar hit looked good. We got a quick promo from Scorpio Sky between these matches. Storm said May deserved to be Owen Hart, so she joined the Owen Hart tournament. For the women's set. We got Tate Matt with Diane Daniel Garcia. So, PW Pro Wrestling, Progressive Wrestling, May Fair made his AW debut this week against here. Again, until the entrance, but now again, it's been put over on commentary. Garcia's win was then a squash match a couple of minutes within the Red Cross. Garcia defeated May Mayfair's incomplete. Gracie's run drop is nice. Garcia, has so many ways, could be someone who's a great team for his character. Kyle Riley vs. Orange Cassidy.
All right, this week's main event was a singles match involving Cassie O'Reilly and our involving storylines and stables different way. It was under predictable outcome in the card. They were given a long time to work with more than 20 minutes left in the show, beginning when they picked up a lot of Bella Bell. KOR used the BGJ wrestling skills, while Cassie used the unfrackled star for Doc style to throw up. It's getting possible. I just really can't show up. I just want to whisper something about O'Reilly at that point. KOR focused on Cassie's leg. OC was able to pull out the win, but it felt like a hard fought victory. He gave O'Reilly a thumbs up. Then the match shows some respect. Trent Brand got a bunch of attack them. Ran back to the ring, helped OC, but was quickly taken down. It ended up being Willow who made the save in the end. So Cassie defeated O'Reilly. Samojo hooked had a great segment attacking the Pyramid athletes. The way KOR combats on the usual OC's usual offense was great. It made him look like he was a study his opponent. The way O'Reilly's series on one and live is second to none. The final word this week. This week's collision was grab a mag match segment segments that varied widely in quality. Got a few squads right, a couple of decent bouts, two really great fights booking the show. VCC or FTR O'Reilly Cassidy were the biggest highlights from solid promos, back segments when the attack with Joe Hook. Parts and funny and brutal. He did build a sort of fears of one playing seeds line and you know, Adrian Jerry's change plans were bitten or very very paper this year. Yeah, that was collision. Let's not go to the wrestling news. Okay, the wrestling news. Let's start with I'm doing the WT crossovers and other stuff. According to the Stubby Sources, Naka Shank or Gordy Grace made a grand passion in several teenage well, residents during recent NXT appearances. Me and Tristan are returning to the teenage made the process easy. The baby seen me open a policy that something like that happened again in the future. Is what ultimately happened. Tisha sat the morning time. Errol Stern, if he is vice president, was helpful in the process. This is the first time two companies have worked together to share talent. WWE brought brought Dickie James in for a Wednesday Royal Rumble in the match of the past. James was technically under contract to end the time, which is a key difference around Grace. Payne went being capable of reporting the content in 2022. They were under TNA contract, but ultimately decided against it. It's worth noting that WWE reached out to TNA aware that the call had been made to remove Scott Demore position within the company. Demore actually said that WWE's inquiry regardless tried to buy TNA at one point. The move away for work with Sophomore had no impact on the business relationship. So there was also a fan of time WWE reportedly expressed direct appear on a TNA program. Drew Cross have a working arrangement one particular point out how to give women properties again. Rivalries create buzz. One higher NXT stated Macklin would be a perfect fit. There's few people familiar with the process of NXT and the performance center than he. This leader Interest in working with other TNA rosters such as Leon Slater and Josh Alexander, who's been speaking highly amongst the NXT roster and any of the opponents. So, yeah. Ricochet Lee WWE once his contract expires this summer. AJW starts texting the company. Her insider reports that Ricochet's old WWE, they finally, his contract expires this summer. It's written out a storyline soon. Give you some credit where you're in itself. Take a chance inside WWE. Shade and Sign Brand 2018 moving to May around 2019. Time coming forward. Next year champion. WWE a con champion. Yes, this year. Our champions. So Ricochet will lead the company this summer. So yeah. Pretty much. Mark Henry now we're going to the last one. Mark Henry explains how surprise ML Battle Right came together last moment. How they came together. Let's find out horse them out. So the legend recent AW broadcast member part away with the AEW last month for the contract. Spoke about surprise appearance at MLW Battle Riot. 
I'll speak of Sean Rasmus. I've been friends with Court Bauer. I'm free Phil forever. Times you have relationships with people. Not the same people. You're friends with people. Those guys, they're friends of mine. When you're about you, I talk to them. They just fuck with them. They explain every guy each other. Talk to you. Oh, yeah. All right, well, dudes, I'll come see you. Henry can with being able to see the product. I'm not as well to see the product in person. Met a lot of talent. I'm not ready to see the start seeing their friends' kids, reading the business. It doesn't get better than over at MLW. Look at my man. Hey, what are you doing? You might have me on the It's awesome. You know, but I have Teddy appeared at Bell's son, represent Belden, Umaye elders, and he presented the ritual combat match between Alice Kane and AJ Francis. Yeah, so basically, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this podcast. I'll see y'all next Sunday, same time, same place. Bye bye.